Hi, hello everyone. Hello. Uh, I'm Zhong Lili. I'm currently a PhD student at UCL. I'm, I'm interested in promoting Go in the UK. Uh, so today, first, I'm going to be reviewing a game I played against uh, Harry Finley, my good friend. Um, yes, it's a two-star handicap game, and I played white. Um, yeah. Let's get started. I play the start point. Now I play the immediate switch for invasion. Yeah, surprisingly, my, my player, yeah, my opponent played the honey here. So this is how AI has revolutionized our game. So before AI, this is just a this is the standard dosing. And it's gonna yeah, before AI everyone thinks, okay, this dosage dosing is gonna favor black because after playing this honey. Black got a very nice position on the outside. So as you can see, like it's mapping out into the center the influence. But nowadays, um, actually AI teach us, so if, especially in the case if one of the star points, so for instance this star point is occupied, yeah, is occupied by, by white, then actually this wall is attackable. So for instance if uh, white just keep playing. And actually here, uh, white can play the pinza. And this wall is going to be eyeless. Yeah. But in this board position, start with a uh, black of two star points. So this, so I guess this is a, a viable dose key for for black. And in the game, I pinza from this side. My opponent counter pincer, and I pick. So this exchange is, is vitally important for white. So because after this exchange, as you can see, uh, so this black group uh, doesn't have any eyes attached to it. But if white doesn't play this exchange, so for instance, white plays away, and black has to play this key point like in this general area. Mm, a black is going to be able to get more eye space. Sorry. So I play two keep here, uh, black next. And I play then the next shape move. Yeah. And now black plays attachment. This is a very aggressive move. And it's a reflection of my of my opponent's playing style. So locally if you want if you want to just keep things simple, you can simply play the Sumi or the two space extension, uh, looking for a connection with the stone uh, in the upper right corner. And now this uh, this whole side just looks like a half of black territory. So in the game, I, my opponent plays the strongest move, and I played the honey on top of it. Again, so if this is an even game, I should probably just play here. Back to somewhere else. Yeah, play, play somewhere else. But here, my, my idea is to get tempo. So I want to get Sente in this. So after this fight, I want to get Sente and play somewhere else. So I play this honey. Uh, and my opponent is too bad. Yeah, and I keep uh, playing very aggressively. So here, again, uh, White should have just come back and protect this weakness. But the, flip, but the flip side of this move is now white can play, for instance, the Shimari or Shimari or Sorcerer Invasion, and black gets the temple. And it doesn't look very good like in a handicap game, because to start with, uh, white is like uh, 20 points behind, behind, so I need to catch up on character. Yeah. So I'm aiming for this potential weakness, so for instance, if uh, black play away, then white can cruise through and cut. And this back zone is going to fall. So locally, black, black got to protect this potential weakness, this cruise through and cut. Yeah, so here's a quiz. Uh, which is the shape move to protect this cruise through and cut? Anyone cares to venture a guess? Table shape? 
Yeah. Or, uh, come to the front. Table yeah. Just out of instinct, I was just playing it. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. So in this in this area, this move, this move, okay. this move, uh, they are all shape move. So the basic idea is the move like this. They are like uh, double purpose move. So for instance, uh, if black plays here, not only this move protects this potential pursuit and cut. So now, if black, if white does push, power, and cut, and then white is going to be chased to the to the edge of the board. Something like this. Yeah, this is pretty bad for the right. But this move also uh, seeking a potential connection with the with the back so in the upper upper right corner. And this is probably just gonna turn into a black territory at the end of the day. So in the game, my opponent just goes straight down. Actually, this is not a terrible move. It's, it's very aggressive. So the basic idea of this move is to take away uh, white's potential eye space in this general area. So for instance, if black plays here, and if white gets to play here or some, something like this, uh, then this, then this general looks like a potential eye space for white. Yeah. But the flip side of this move is uh, there's a potential pick. And this is very annoying for black because uh, black got an answer it. Otherwise, so for instance, if black just plays away, and these two stones are going to fall. So, so black got an answer, something like, answer like this or this. And this shape just looks very clunky. It's not a good shape. Now I just carry on playing very aggressively. I cover here, I cover from, from the center. Again, locally, uh, white should probably just come back and, play, uh, and protect this cut. And my, my opponent didn't dare to play this, and instead he played the honey on top of it. And I cut. Yeah. And now, uh, black just uh, connects. And this is probably a, yeah, a, a slight mistake. So the rule of thumb is, in this general area, uh, black got a stone advantage. So as you can see, there are more, uh, so in general, there are like more uh, black stones than white stones. Uh, so uh, which means like uh, black can play more uh, forcefully here. So for instance, uh, black just cut. Uh, it doesn't look very good for, for, for white, actually. Something uh, like this. This three stones are probably going to be captured by, uh, by black stones because this three, three, three stones can, can be quickly uh, put into dummy smiling. Yeah. So this move is a little bit slow and it's not good shape, so it's very clunky. So now I just keep bullying, bullying black. Now I'm trying to take uh, black stones on a larger scale. It's very ambitious, but it doesn't work actually. <laughs> and now black's cut. And this is the shape move, uh, which protects this potential pursuit and cut because uh, if white doesn't play this, then this is just a Black plays the Titan, and I honey, I pass. Uh, yeah. Now my plan is to give up these uh, white stones, but instead I want to uh, uh, surround, surround these two uh, black stones in the center. And um, yeah, they're, they're widely important because they are like cutting stones. So if, uh, if black gets to save these two stones so on both sides, and even potentially on this side, uh, all my groups are going to be in danger. Uh, 
playing Atari here, but in hindsight, this is a slight mistake because I lost a few points here. So I covers here. And now the next move, black swan, uh, capture these uh, two white stars. So basically, if black doesn't protect this, for instance, uh, black places three to invasion. Even if uh, black managed to capture these two stones. White stones are going to be all kind of up, and this is uh, pretty bad for, uh, for for black. Yeah, basically black got to got to protect this. Now here's another quiz: which is the optimal move to uh, to protect this potential weakness? Yeah. Anyone care to venture a guess? Bamboo joint. Bamboo joint. This one. Mm. Yeah, this is the game move. Not too bad. Good yeah. Connect. 16, 18. Oh, uh, this one. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, this is the optimal move because, just, uh, first of all, if, if white continues to play a parry, uh, black can get everything uh, protected. Uh, this move is also threatening uh, white's position in the corner. So, for instance, if uh, white uh, doesn't protect this, after playing this two two point, uh, white only got uh, one eye for the time being. Yeah. But of course, I mean, white can still live. But so for instance, something like this. Yeah. So just to keep things simple. Uh, black got another forcing move on the outside. And this looks pretty good for, for black. Yeah. So in the game, uh, my opponent just curl around and capture this this one stone. And now I guess to uh, strong uh, black stones in the center. <coughs> so here, actually, this is an overplay. Because it's like uh, sending another prison to, to a death group. So at this point, uh, Black should just probably should have probably just play away the place and playing uh, on top of it or playing the Kakari and leave some uh, leave the Audi there. The Audi is just like some potential we can make use of uh, at some point. Yeah. So for instance, uh, Black maybe at some point Black can play this this this. Yeah. So black just keeps uh, extending the liberty, and I play, and I, co and I cover uh, from underneath. And now black cut. And this is a very interesting position. In the game, I play this one. But actually, AI suggests me play here. But the problem with this move is that the reason I didn't play this move in the, in the game is because is going to potentially lose this risk to capture. Yeah. But why AI still suggests uh, playing this move? It's just because like white got a very nice position on the outside. Yeah. And actually this group is not just it's not very big just to get yeah, seven stones, maybe more than fifty points. So it's, it's not a big deal. Yeah. This is a fight. Yeah. And now that that gets to play this very big move Covering from the top, and what just pulls back? Uh, did I miss any sequence? No. Yeah. Now I play away. Uh, I play. But why research with AI? AI still suggests uh, suggests me play uh, play in the center because. Uh, 
it looks like that the center is a lot more important than the other side. But in the game, I was a little bit worried about my uh, my three stones, which has been isolated by uh, by these four uh, black stones. So I want to settle this first. Now black has to play this key point. And I play away again. This is like the player's consistency. Because a few moves ago, I have decided to give up the center. And place like more territorial moves. So for instance, like the pincer or the shimari. So I just leave it there. And now black, uh, black needs to punish uh, my play away. So which is so, so where is the shape for black in this general area? Yeah. Two spaces below that last black move? This one? Uh, below that. This one? Yeah. One. Two two aggressive. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah. This is the shape move. Yeah. Because intuitively, so these two stones only has two liberties. Yeah. And this two only has three liberties. Yeah. Uh, black did play this move. And I blown it here. <laughs> yeah, I played this <laughs> in connection. Yeah. It's it's probably it's probably the losing move. But because if black played here. Yeah. Yeah, these stones are dead. This is a terrible blunder. But surprisingly, my opponent just let me off the hook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now I made I realized I made a big mistake and come back and protect this weakness. Actually like after this exchange I got away with some local profit. Yeah, yeah that's what board game is. Yeah. Everyone makes mistakes. Whoever makes the last mistake is gonna lose the game. And we just keep playing in the center. Because it seems as if like uh, black is trying to uh, got a strong position in the center. Come by half. This move? Yeah. Yeah, I I didn't research into this, but um, this looks very dangerous. Uh, because to start with, uh, White stones on this side, they are not very strong, so they are just like two space extension. Yeah, so basically, like, uh, as you just imagine, like, for instance, if uh, black got some stones in this general area, and black gets to play here, and these four white stones are probably gonna die, so yeah. Yeah, that's why I didn't play the cut in the game. Yeah. And so, white group in the, in the middle isn't, isn't alive. It well, captures three stones, but it's not alive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I thought there was a second die where the bamboo turn. And also, like the well, it's the so, so black move, black move in just in this general area are surprisingly big. Yeah, because there are too many forcing moves. Yeah, something like this. And black can easily surround some territory in the process of surrounding white groups. Yeah, that's the reason why I answered this move so because just I want to get a very nice position in the center. There are, and actually here, if you count the territory, they're not, uh, they're actually very big. So it's like three stones. Uh, it can potentially turn into like 10 points territory. So it's worth it, I guess. And actually, uh, AI agrees with me. So, yeah. <laughs> Did you mean yeah. you agree with AI? Yeah, I agree with AI. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, okay. Oh, sorry. So before playing this, uh, White, a uh, black play here. Yeah. This is no big deal. And now uh, black play this uh, counter pinza. Again, I, I'm not. Yeah, this move actually didn't take me by surprise in the game because I know my my opponent is a very aggressive player. But this is a slight mistake because if you look at this position, uh, locally the best move is just to play the kasumi because. Again, so when you play gold, the, the whole idea is to play double purpose move or triple purpose move. And this move just, so not only this move, just going to give a white a more secure position in the corner. Yeah. 
is also aiming at this potential weakness of why uh, two space extension on both sides. Let's give you a very simple example. Yeah, actually, this is this is going to be a very vulgar vulgar move, but but anyway, yeah. This is a vulgar sequence just for demonstration purpose. Yeah. Yeah, something like this. Gets to squeeze, uh, get to squeeze uh, black in the corner, but still like uh, white got too many cards to deal with. Yeah, that's why it's worth well to play this consume. Because now uh, a white gets to play this key three 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 point, and black box box on this side. And this is another mistake. So I bet my opponent knows like uh, this is the, the shape, but he's he's being too aggressive. He's aiming uh, aiming for this potential weakness, this potential push through from the card. But it turned out he he didn't he didn't have time to do this. So I just went. Cut this stone off. <coughs> Although it's not completely dead, but I got everything connected and some nice territory. But as you can see, uh, black ended up with um, two empty triangles. So the shapes are not very efficient. But now I made some slight mistakes. So I, so I played it tiny speed. The turn is not as big as at the move on this side. So in the game, I was too obsessed with a uh, good shape. So I thought, okay, after this, I got a nice, po sorry, I got a nice position in the corner, and some, some, a very sizable territory, and also I put my opponents, my opponents, those you know, your clunky shape. Yeah, but it's not worth it because this side is way more important. But surprisingly, my opponent <laughs> doesn't like this shape either. <laughs> so he adds another stone yeah, to the screw. It's very slow. Because if uh, black just leave it there, so in, even in the worst case scenario, so for instance, black plays, white plays some random move. In the worst case scenario, uh, black can just play the tire. Get everything saved. This is like this is like the backup. So, so this group is not in any immediate danger. So back just to invest another one here. Now the now the dip, now the gap is just within like one comi. So I guess at this point, uh, back only got like five points least on board. So it's very it's very very close. Sorry, I, I, yeah, I play this. Yeah. I guess to play this big point, and next, surrounding this territory uh, looks like uh, black zero lining, because if you look around the board, uh, this is the only territory that black has. So now black needs to think about how to turn this. A sickness in the center into some sizable territory, otherwise, black is just going to lose the game. But it turned out like this move is a little bit uh, too closer to, uh, to white structure in the corner. So I play this double pins, sorry, counter pins, and this black just jumps out. I always call this backdoor connection. In the sense that like this move is, uh, uh, is, is too close to a uh, too wide uh, uh, structure in the corner, so yeah, I think uh, black should just play here or here, or like this. Yeah. Yeah. 
just to make sure actually this 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 chunk is gonna is gonna be turned into a solid territory. Yeah. And it's probably just gonna be a very close end game. Yeah. Uh, black mm -hmm. territory. Yeah. yeah, and black keeps playing very aggressively. So locally, black uh, can simply just answer in the corner and uh, and keep press keep, keep pressuring on this white stone. And also, this move is going to uh, give black a very nice position in the corner. But in the game, uh, black does counter attack. Yeah. I play the honey from the. Now white gets to play this big move, a two space extension. But this move just limits uh, black's influence in the corner, and also this two two space extension is gonna give uh, white some potential ice ice space uh, on the side. So uh, yeah, that's why this move is a, is a key point for both sides. Black kicks, and I play the honey from underneath. Actually, this move surprisingly is a slight mistake. It, this this honey just looks so natural, the tiger mouth, <laughs> and it's good shape. But it turned out to be a mistake. So in this four position, uh, back should just should have just picked from from the top. Just for instance, uh, if white answered this, locally, well, white is not alive. But of course, like on both sides, uh, black is not very strong. But at least like that got a very strong position in the center. If the fight goes into zero, this direct is probably gonna favor black. So if black plays something like this, the game is still very undecided. In the game, black just play this uh, good looking move. Now, as you can see, uh, white got a small base on the side. Right. I'm now just going for territory. And black uh, plays the Kasumi, but this is a little bit late. This is probably the losing move for, for black. So if black just plays here, this is still a very chaotic game. Just to give you one example. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, it's still very on this. It's still very chaotic and undecided. But I remember like, at this point, like, black was going to be with me, so it's understandable. So now. What gets to cut? There it is. Yeah, actually playing on top is kind of perilous because I didn't, I didn't realize that I actually can play a target from from underneath. Yeah, something like this. This one. Oh, no, yeah, it's not work. It's just gonna die outright. Yeah. Yeah. So at least back uh, can make two eyes on the side. It's still a very close game. But back can play the honey first, and it's kind of undecided because it's. But in the game, like my opponent didn't find this, and he played this too obsessed with saving this four stone. Yeah.
in the end, like black lost everything on the side. And after this, there's no chance for, for black to com come back. Yeah. So in my, so in my view, the loose one here is uh, it's just this one. Yeah. So sometimes, like, so everyone likes good shape and secure position. But more often than not, like, getting big points. Like, back in the game, at this point, upper left board is still wide open. So whoever gets to play on this side uh, is probably going to dominate the game. Yeah. So as compared to the local good shape or some local advantage, so, yeah. So one should, uh, should, be, one should focus more on the, so say like the, the whole board evaluation. Yeah. This is a mistake that yeah, many amateur play, players tend to make, like including myself. Yeah. Because I didn't get to play this, this move in the first place. I was too obsessed with this Hane CD. Yeah. Some nice territory in the corner and also putting my opponent's uh, stones uh, in a clunky shape. So basically, yeah, irrespective of band players or Q players, also make, make your move more efficient. So it's, more, it's better off if this move just comes with like more than one purpose, like two purpose ring or three purpose. Yeah. Uh, the most like this is just going to be slightly better, better than, than going straight down. I guess that's the key point of the game. Thank you. Yeah. So we are